Welcome to Pressure Points. Our topic is Google earnings. And as of this recording, it's a little bit after the conference call ended. The stock is up about 5%. I would have expected that based on these results and the commentary going forward, that the stock would be up closer to 10%. And I'll jump right in to why and the pressure point. I think this was the most significant quarter for Google over the past 7 to 10 years. And that's based on uh, this expectation or this concern that uh, the generative AI would have a negative long-term impact on Google search revenue. And in fact, in the first full quarter where AI overviews were available for the U.S., U.S. only, we saw a nice bump up in search uh, revenue in the U.S. Now, they don't explicitly break that out, but you can kind of back into it because search is about 56% of their revenue. Uh, the U.S. business uh, grew at 18% in the June quarter. The expectation was that it would grow at 12% in September. It actually grew at 19%, so it accelerated slightly. And I think it's representative of these AI overviews having a positive impact. Uh, there was a lot of language to the effect that AI overviews is improving the number of searches that are being done and is having a positive impact on monetization. But if you're going to kind of boil it down to one number, it's probably that overall U.S. growth. Again, that's their overall business. That includes YouTube and uh, the what's going on with Google Cloud. But I think it is representative of a good read on what AI overviews is doing. Uh, in October, they rolled that out to basically another, I'm going to, I'm going to round here about 700 million people. So about a billion people uh, globally are using this. I think that's another sign that they're feeling good about this trade-off. And what they discussed on the call, just this fundamentally whole new paradigm around how people are going to search. And so they're on it. If uh, there was questions from investors, are they on it enough? I think they clearly showed to me that uh, they mean business when it comes to search and generative AI. And separately, they're doing a great job of kind of navigating that. So that was the pressure point, um, and I will shift to other points that are worth discussing. Uh, next, of course, is Google Cloud showed a surprising acceleration. It was 28, 29% in the June quarter. It went to 35%. I don't think anybody was really expecting that, and I think the takeaway is that this is just a good read that the AI trade is on, that, uh, that the uh, developers are coming, they're spending a lot of that growth is coming from AI. And so I think this concern that AI is going to somehow slow down here, we're not seeing that in the cloud numbers, most encouraging. On the negative side, there was the CapEx number, negative in the sense of relative to the overall AI uh, conversation. But Google guided that the December CapEx was going to be at $13 billion unchanged from September. And my initial reaction was that's being judicious. They're aggressively investing. That's going to be up about 18% year over year, but a pretty sharp deceleration from their year over year growth in CapEx in the June quarter, where it was up 91%. During that June quarter, and we'll get to kind of this roundabout way, talk about NVIDIA here, but during the June quarter, NVIDIA's overall business grew at 122%. So uh, Google's CapEx grew at 91%. NVIDIA's business grew at, in their August quarter, which is the best comp, at 122%. And so you kind of put that together, they kind of map out. The 18% growth for the December quarter for CapEx compares to street expectations for NVIDIA of 65%. So you see that gap kind of spreading out. I'm not ready to uh, change my view that NVIDIA is going to have a solid quarter in October and I think also in January based on some of the backlog that they have for Blackwell, they simply just can't keep up for several quarters. And separately is the expectation is that a lot of this AI infrastructure spend in the in the quarters and years ahead is going to spread out beyond this to corporate, to enterprise, uh, to sovereign. And so I think that there are many opportunities beyond hyperscalers, but something that will probably get some attention to it. Big picture here for Google. This was an important quarter for them to show investors that not need not worry in terms of how generative AI is going to impact search. I don't think this is going to put to rest any concerns, but I think that Google investors, present company included, as Deepwater is invested through our Titan fund, uh, we will rest better tonight knowing that. On behalf of Pressure Points, bye for now.